We're going to be going over the numbers on my favorite type of investment, the fourplex. Jeff from Georgia, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, guys, and this is the show where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. You, me, my team, we're working for you, right? We want to help you start, build, grow your real estate portfolio. We have top-to-bottom services to assist you in this. It starts here with matching the right investor with the right property at the right time at the right price. Then we have property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, title insurance, the whole nine, right? Now, that's key though, right? The right property for the right investor at the right time at the right price right there are in my opinion no such thing as good properties or bad properties every property can be good or bad based upon how you buy it who who buys it you know when they buy it how they finance it what price they buy it for right everything is variable okay and that is kind of what we got going on here right this property uh, it's been on the market a little over a month 11709 Nelson Lakewood two and a quarter this is a quad a fourplex a four unit apartment building whatever you want to call it I know they got about a bunch of different names here right these are my favorite type of investments you can couple uh, commercial quality rents with uh, the 30 year residential financing right I love these investments but it's all about being the right type of investment for the right investor at the right time at the right price right so here's what we got I looked at this particular property as part of a three video series I did for a couple other clients right these were clients who were doing a 1031 exchange right and they had to identify and and buy four hundred thousand dollars worth of real estate and their goal was to do that using the fewest amount of videos possible so when I analyzed this for them this was the cheapest of the three buildings I looked at for them and I liked this for them for their goals for what they wanted to do the least I thought the other two which were considerably more expensive were better buys for them which brings me to you Jeff up until now uh, even though you have more money available, you've wanted me to look at properties in the 100K or less range, okay? But that pretty much prices you out of any type of fourplexes, right? This is one of the cheaper fourplexes, and I know you're trying to keep your budget lower, so I wanted to stretch your budget up a little bit, give you some food for thought. So why I think this... Uh, was on the cheap end and not of interest to my other clients because they want to spend a lot more money you're trying to spend even less money and I want to bring you up so I think this one actually would work better for you than I thought it would work for them so what I'm gonna do now is have you take a look at the footage when I ran through the numbers it's been on the market for 41 days 11709 Nelson Court Lakewood listed at two and a quarter I feel this price is too high okay I think two and a quarter is too high for this one I want to try to pick it up for you guys for a hundred eighty five thousand now the reason that this quad is worth so much less than the other quad number one it's a little bit further east okay I told you guys in that video as far as Lakewoods goes the f the further west you go right the higher the rents the nicer the property is the nicer the neighborhood it turns into like an a-class neighborhood eventually okay so the further east you are the lower quality uh, you're gonna get now that's not to say it's like low quality right you're still in Lakewood which is probably in my opinion the most high demand rental neighborhood in the in the whole Cleveland market right so when I say like the quality goes down I don't want you to think you're buying in the ghetto you're still in Lakewood so you're still doing really really well uh, but I'm just explaining to you why this 
particular quad is going to be worth so much less. And then other than that, what we have here, folks, we have four one-bedroom units, right? The other one was two-bedroom units, so much higher demand. Uh, we have four one-bedroom units here bringing in $2,140 a month or $25,680 a year. Cool thing, though, is we could get the market rents on each of these units up to about $600. So know uh, that these are below market rents, right? So the actual long-term cash flow will look even better than the numbers I'm going to provide for you today because I just did the numbers based upon what you currently have, okay? So with what you currently have, 25680 comes in. I anticipate you guys spending 15 and a half of that, leaving us with a cash flow of 10000 188 if we are able to work the sellers down to the particular price point that i would like to do the 185 that's going to result in a 5.5 cap you only need to put down 46,250 of your own cash giving you guys a very solid and respectable 6.8 percent cash on cash return as far as what the building looks like, just a classic, classic uh, old century old building there, brick. All right, we got, you know, just pretty, pretty low key, nothing high end, right? We don't have an extremely high end renovation done here like we just did in the Cleveland Heights building, right? You see, we got the same color trim as we do walls, right? So if you do want to increase those rents down the road, we're going to want to put a higher level of finish into these units right you got pretty small kitchens here uh, so an upgrade on these kitchens wouldn't be too much money to bring in a higher class of tenant a higher rent roll are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today And uh, what we also have is we have four separate hot water tanks, four separate furnaces. Uh, those are anticipated to be mid to end of life. As far as the roof goes, same situation here as we had with the previous quad in Lakewood. Uh, it's a flat rubberized roof. Uh, it's been maintained as we are told. However, what we're going to want to do is if you guys do move forward with an offer on this particular property, we're going to want to have the inspector actually get up there and check it out for himself, right? Trust but verify that's what's important in this business but i probably don't need to tell you guys that since you've been in the game for 17 years right so these are the three buildings that i found for you guys you wanted to identify at least four hundred thousand dollars worth of real estate for your 1031 and you wanted to do it in as few buildings as possible so i wanted to comb through uh, you know, the three and the four unit buildings in the Cleveland market because we have a very low inventory of those. I believe uh, three and four unit buildings on the market as I was looking for you guys to do these videos for you. I think we only had in the areas you guys had said you wanted to work in the C and B class neighborhoods. I think we only had like a total of nine of them on the market, right? So these were definitely the three best. And then I rank them in order uh, in which I would take them down personally, right? First being the Lakewood Quad, then the Cleveland Heights Triplex, and then this would be my fallback, the second Lakewood Quad, which is what I would consider to be the lowest end of all the buildings, right? Welcome back, Jeff. Let me know your thoughts, right? I know up until now, right? We've been trying to stay in the $100,000 or less range, right? But I think when you have the opportunity to pick up a fourplex, especially one that is in Lakewood, an area that is super desirable, you need to take action, take that one down. And this being one of the cheaper type uh, fourplexes that we can we can get, right, but still being in that great neighborhood, I think it makes a lot of sense for you. So if there ever is a time for you to stretch that budget and maybe go out of your comfort zone a little bit. I think this particular deal 
is the deal to do it, right? So if you want to move forward on this deal, if your thinking is in line with my thinking, let me know. Just reply to the private link, and my team will get together writing up that offer for you, right? I suggested an offering price, but let me know exactly what price you'd like us to, to offer for you here. It's your money, right? I can only advise you, right? At the end of the day, you're the one spending the coin, so you name the price, brother, and we will do our very best to try to negotiate that price down. If for some reason uh, you're not feeling me, you know, you're like, hey, man, James, no, 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 no. I really want to be in the 100K or so range per property. Just let me know, and on the next video I make for you, uh, we will go that route. But, you know, when you have the opportunity to get to get quads, man, I, I want you to take it. Because you told me, you said I'm interested in one to four units. And I know you have, I think it was like, how much money? I, I wrote it down. You have, uh, no, I didn't write it down, but I know you have set that budget at 100k per deal i know you have a lot more to work with right your whole goal was uh allocating more funds so we can send your daughter to college so i know you have the ability to purchase it right so it's just do i want to put that much money into one property right but I think you should because we're diversifying it out, right? Because we're bringing in four rental income checks with that, right? And with the $100,000 budget, it's just going to be impossible for us to get you anything bigger than a duplex, right? So let me know if I'm barking up the right tree. We'll move forward on the deal if I am. If not, we will readjust, do something different on your next video. Everybody else, if you watch today's show and you're like, wow, I'd like to work with Holton Wise. I like the transparency. Uh, the whole telling it like it is thing. If you're interested, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call in 24 to 48 hours. Talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals. Try to set you up with the right property at the right price at the right time, financed in the right way, right? Because again, I don't think there's good properties. I don't think there's bad properties. I think there's good and bad matches, right? It's all going to be variable based on a lot of things. So we'll work together to figure out the plan of attack for you. And then we'll be able to be your boots on the ground, manage that asset for you going forward. Everybody else who maybe is not interested in working with us just yet, you just stumbled upon Holton Wise TV because you're trying to learn about real estate investing, stick around, folks. Do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.